Welcome back, NDM crew. In this episode of Shop Talk, Nick and I will be explaining and going over how to replace a defective PCV system in the 98 Volvo that we introduced in our previous video. All right, so first off, we gotta pull off this cover if your car has it. What am I doing? Am I on glue? <laughs> on glue? <laughs> uh, oh, also, um, you're gonna wanna make sure that the car is cooled down because if it's hot, you're gonna burn yourself. Um, all these pipings that go to the intake need to be removed because we're gonna be pulling the intake off. The caterpillar needs to come off. <laughs> yeah. And as you can see, there's a tons of gunk inside this thing. So that's first indication that the PCV system is derelict. It's just pooey. That's the word to describe it. <laughs> so there's this pipe that's part of the PCV system that we're gonna replace that comes off this tube that in a second you're gonna see is mangled, absolutely destroyed. I'm gonna have to replace it. There it is. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's just too far gone. That's the sewage pipes right there. <laughs> yeah. And then this, I think this is like the idle air control uh, solenoid. That piece has got to come off. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. And now here I'm taking off this hose, which what I think was a coolant line. That's why I put that clamp on there. But it turns out it's just a vacuum hose for the brake yeah. booster. So no clamp required here. If you pull it off and there is coolant in there, something's really messed up. Call 911. <laughs> Don't actually, but I would. So you have to move the um, fuel rail and take off the inje uh, injection covers as well. Not injection, for ignition covers. Okay, so for removing the intake, we went a little fast here. There's bolts on the top and the bottom. The top bolts come right out. The bottom ones, just back them off about three turns. And then you should be able to take the intake out because it's kind of just slotted. And don't forget this hose that I forgot, especially if you plan on keeping it after. But not Because we ruined that foam. Yeah, we destroyed it. It's all right. But it's getting replaced in our case, so we're good. And it doesn't want to come off, so I just got pliers and ripped it off. Just cut it, and it's fine. Yeah. Oh yeah, look how dirty it is in there. Probably gonna want to clean all that out because you don't want that getting inside the engine. And that's how mangled the throttle body was. Just fully plugged with crap. So that's gonna be a good time to clean out your entire intake since it's coming off. Yeah. That is a bracket that holds the intake. So that's one thing we should probably mention. The dipstick tube has to come out. There's a 12 mil bolt on the bottom and then there's another 12 mil bolt that holds the intake to this bracket. And then after you take the intake off, the bracket's gotta come out. And that's an intake leak right there. As you can see, vacuum leak, that hose is just melted, destroyed. I don't know if it's melted or just the oil over time decomposed it. And this is the PCV box, I guess you can call yeah. it, the box of doom. As you can see where we're pointing right now is where the uh, knock sensor was. That had to come off just to make space. And then there you go. You just break those clamps free and oh, all yeah. plugged up. Look at that that's gunk in there. Now that's nothing. Sometimes these things are plugged solid, like just completely filled. So there's all the new parts. We got our parts from IDP, um, Volvo Parts Online. And they have a kit. This is a kit a that they've, kit. Uh, they've yeah. come up with and developed for uh, the system here. Yeah, so it's all genuine parts. It comes with the dipstick tube seal, so you don't need to order that separately. It comes with all the hoses, new clamps. They're actually gear clamps now, not those stupid clamping ones. Pretty much everything you need except for that one uh, hose that goes to the throttle body that we said that was destroyed. Yeah, That's that, something we that we separately. have to order. Now take out those bolts that we left in on the intake and then you can remove your intake gasket. And then we use the little die grinder here with a mild pad to clean up the cylinder head because you do not want an intake leak after this a vacuum leak because it's a lot of work or you don't want to leave one of the injectors unplugged and have a misfire oh well that's fine yeah that's good just unplug all of them except for one it'll run <laughs> oh yeah so then you get your new gasket line it up and then you can just start those bolts just so that the gasket doesn't move and then it's easy to slide the intake on there's our new unit our new PCV unit with fresh clamps that just pushes on nicely. 
Now, I should mention there's two bolts that hold this on. I believe they're 10 mil. One's easy to see. It's on the right there. You can see me tightening it right now. The other one is really tight. It's hard to see, but it's on the opposite side. And there's clamping on the hose. That hose has to be clamped on first. Actually, every hose needs to be clamped on first before you install the intake. There we go. That's all the hoses installed. We kind of blew everything out with compressed air and covered up the intake, obviously. Yeah. So now we're going to clean up the intake with some sea foam slash carb cleaner. Get a little. This isn't a wire brush. This is like a plastic. The, the bristles are made yeah. out of plastic, so we're not like, like a nylon bristle. Yeah, brush. a nylon bristle. We're not freaking grinding this thing down. We're not making the throttle body bigger. And we're not boring it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, tons of carb cleaner. And then after you carb clean it, brake clean it out because if you leave a lot of that in there, it's gonna run really bad afterwards. Unless you don't care. You can just. Uh -huh. Just go wide open throttle it'll, for a little bit, I'll clean it up. It, it'll be fine. <laughs> Lots of carb cleaner. And then I actually cleaned out each individual like intake for. I did this in the garbage can because it made a huge mess. And then I got my brush in those spots as well. Cleaned it out nice and fresh. Squeaky clean. <laughs> So yeah, blow gun, clean it all out. Um, so this actually didn't fix the stalling problem. We had a, this car's yeah. got a stalling issue. I'm pretty sure it's the catalytic converter that's all destroyed. But there you go. Now you can see it's all cleaned up. But this job definitely needs to be done. It could have also. Ones. It could also be that. Also Fight. that hose, yeah, that, that hose. hose that we still need to replace, it's on order. So when you install the intake, you gotta feed this one PCV line that goes on top of the valve cover through the intake, kinda like that there. And then you slide the intake on those bolts that we just left a couple threads on. And don't forget that one little hose. Yeah, that, uh, the hose on the started side. to do that. We, we forgot that the first time, and then we had to take it off and redo it. As you can see as right you can here. See, yeah. So that, that hose, it's a very small little vacuum line that came in the kit. That's got to go on and then reinstall. And then also the kit came with new injector O-rings, which was nice. Uh, they're very hard to get on. They're very tight. So I'll use a little bit of uh, um, silicone lubricant or some kind of, I don't know, I wouldn't say grease. I wouldn't use a grease. I would use maybe just some kind of silicone based lube. Now you can start all your bolts and tighten up your intake. Also want to mention, um, if your car is turbocharged, slightly different, there's a couple other things that need to get removed, makes the job a little bit longer. And then everything's just the reverse of what we did. There's the dipstick in, the injectors in. So we just temporarily repaired that hose that goes right there on the throttle body. We put like some electrical tape on it, but it's it's not good. No, we're it's, gonna be changing it for sure. It's on order. It. And but, it comes with that huge caterpillar, um, what, whatever that freaking thing is. That tube, yeah. Yeah, big tube. But that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys learned something from it, and you guys can do this on your own Volvo. All right, guys. Take care. Peace out.